Straight Talk newspaper, the flagship youth information dissemination tool of the Straight Talk Foundation, started out as a pullout in the New Vision newspaper. It was mainly supplied in high schools to the target readership, the students. The main message then to the teenage readers was about HIV. In the early 1990s, HIV prevalence was high and most anti-HIV messages targeted adults. You'd hear these scary drums on the radio, tutun, tutun, AIDS killed, and it was a scary message. So when Straight Talk came in, really, the, the, the thinking was that, you know, the approach for young people needs to be different. The paper connected with many people and not just teenagers. The Straight Talk founders realized that there was much more to address than just HIV. The body changes, the sexual feelings, the relationships and all that. So we started to work backwards and uh, as I speak now, our approach in the newspaper is much, much different. Every day there's a young person that becomes um, such menstruation, for example. There's a young man that's having his first wet dream. The young man who's having his first crush. So it means you keep going back to those issues all the time. They were getting feedback from even eight and nine year olds. It is then that the administrators decided to launch the small Young Talk newspaper to cater for this audience. But these publications did not captivate only young people. The teacher said, you know, we also need to learn about these things. How do you expect me, a male teacher, to talk about menstruation? How do I talk to my child about, you know, how babies are made? We need that information, we need the skills. Straight Talk has grown largely by responding to what their audience demands. The now executive director, Susan Ajok, rose through the ranks and she has learned a lot during her work here. In order to be able to serve young people, you have, need to have conversation. Not just talking, talking, talking at people. She went to an all-girls school for secondary education and says the Straight Talk newspaper has taught her more than she ever learned elsewhere. You go to the library and you find Straight Talk and you're okay. You're reading it and nobody's judging you, nobody's seeing this. It's just yours. You, I, I, it was amazing. Susan doesn't hesitate to mention her age of 42. She says Uganda has had a lot of programming around HIV, demystified it, and so young people are not afraid of the disease anymore. They are more worried of pregnancy. With HIV, you can, you can be discreet about it. You know, it won't be written in your face that, okay, Susan is HIV positive. But with a pregnancy, it's a pregnancy, you can't hide it forever. It will come out sometime. Susan holds a master's degree in public health from the University of Washington and a bachelor's degree in sociology and political science of Macquarie University. She went to Nakasero Primary School, Navisunsa Girls High School for O Level and Trinity College Nabingo for A Level. After university, Susan struggled to find employment like most youth, but she became proactive instead of writing applications and waiting for responses. I walked around in the neighborhood. I started going to school and I said, I'm looking for a teaching job. I'm not trained as a teacher, but I'm looking for a teaching job. The third school I went to was a private school just starting up in a, an incomplete building. And they said, we need a teacher who to teach uh, English to our, our senior three students. Can you handle? I said, yes. I said, can you start Monday? I said, yes. She told for a couple of months until she saw a job ad for outreach staff with Straight Talk Foundation. She was shortlisted and interviewed but never got the job. They called her back after studying her CV again and noticing that she had some experience in data entry. Never say I cannot do it. Never say for me I'm not meant for that. Started from the lowest. I was more, more, more like a clerical person in the organization. So as the organization started to grow, I was also assigned bigger responsibilities. Uh, I started to supervise people. I started to speak on behalf of the organization. Straight Talk has since expanded significantly with many projects. One of these is a clinic in northern Uganda. They also run radio programs across the country. To date, I think we're on 25 radio stations. And each program is uniquely prepared to suit a target audience that speaks that language. They also freely give out trees for planting. Youth need to be taught to protect their environment while they're still young, so they appreciate that uh, they have a role to protect their, their environment and uh, there is no rocket science about planting trees. She believes that parents should talk to their children about the difficult subject of sex as soon as possible. It's just about how you, you package and how much you want to give to an an 8-year-old or a 10-year-old and a 15-year-old and an 18-year-old. But the most important thing is to keep the channel of conversation open. 
She feels that young people today are more at risk because they are not as sheltered as before. There is so much more exposure and permissiveness today. Everything is materialized. A young person has a cell phone. And the parents are buying them the smartphone. You know? Young people are exposed to the adverts on alcohol, on cigarettes. And then they're watching all these, uh, all these movies, all these artists performing. And, you know, they just have the wrong role models around them. Parenting has evolved as well. Our parents try to instill certain values in us, values about respect, appreciate yourself, know where you come from. I come from a very humble family and don't compare yourself to others. Susan believes that parents must take time to know the families of their children's friends and get involved in their children's lives. It also goes back to upbringing. I look back at my times and I'm like, really, we did not have much, but we are very contented with what we have. How I wish the same message would be uh, sent to today's young generation. One of the programs she is proud to have started at Straight Talk is for special needs children. Braille, Straight Talk in Braille, for those who are visually impaired. We also make deliberate outreaches to people with special needs. Despite the long hours in the office, Susan ensures that she finds time to do exercises to keep in shape. Most people tend to think to, to exercise it means I go to this gym and pay my 20000 I'm on the treadmill. I just throw my things in the car and I walk my one and a half hours, sweat it out and I'm back in the car and heading home. Susan Ajok is passionate about maternal health and early childhood development. After straight talk, she intends to invest time and energy in these areas. Josephine Karunji, NTV.